Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everyone. I'm Thomas Trombley with Microsoft's Windows Servicing and Delivery Team. Welcome to our first episode of the Windows Wire, where we're here to catch you up on the latest and greatest Windows client news for organizations large and small, especially around update management. Whether you're an IT pro, decision maker, or even a CIO, we hope this gets you caught up on the latest and greatest information. Let's kick things off with the latest from my colleague, David Mebbin, who just launched the first in a series of blog posts on the Windows Update for Business Deployment Service. In it, David explores a feature called Gradual Rollouts, which enables you to roll out updates to your enterprise devices and waves based on intelligent insights related to specific hardware and software attributes in your ecosystem. The goal here is to help you feel confident that your devices will have a successful update experience and to limit the impact of any known issues that may exist. Back in January, Aria Carly wrote a blog outlining which update-related policies not to set for your Windows devices. Based on the popularity of that article, she's now published a guide to the policies you do want to set if the default settings don't complement your specific needs. Notice I mentioned default settings. That's because, as a rule, defaults are optimized for simplicity, which is why we recommend them. The fewer policies, the better. However, if you need to customize to differentiate personal devices versus those for multiple users or kiosks, Aria's post provides a great reference. You can find both of these prescriptive posts at aka.ms slash Windows IT Pro blog. The big splash this month is right around the corner with an April 5th live event on how Windows powers the future of hybrid work. Chief Product Officer Panos Panay, alongside engineering leaders Paul Barr, David Weston, and Steve Dispensa share details and demos on what's next for Windows 11 productivity, collaboration, security, and management. You can join next Tuesday's event at aka.ms slash Windows event. We also hope you'll join us April 7th at 8 a.m. Pacific time as our engineers and product managers will be standing by to answer your questions about Windows 11 in real time as part of a tech community live event. All those questions you had from the live event on end user productivity, management, and security, yep, we'll be there to help you with those questions and more. You can start submitting questions right now for next week's event. Yes, really, operators will be standing by. Just visit aka.ms slash TCL slash Windows. Choose your AMA topic and just start typing. Can't attend next week's event? Catch up anytime. Yep, same URL. While the Tech Community Live event is a special event, we do host monthly Windows office hours. Every third Thursday, my colleagues and I gather in similar fashion to answer all your Windows questions. We set up an informal chat-based interface and responses are given in real time. Be sure to sign up at, you guessed it, aka.ms slash Windows office hours. That's it for this first edition of the Windows Wire. We hope you found it informative. Be sure to follow us at, at MSWindowsITPro on Twitter for more news and announcements. See you next month.